Finally dumping the oil out of the bimmer. Checking for metal pieces, which I think we're good. Yeah, it definitely is frothy. Probably we're thinking from coolant. We were on the car before. I feel like I tried to fix it. Didn't address the coolant leaking problem. And now you have frothy new oil. <laughs> frothy new oil, because it's definitely pretty decent oil. We did check the filter too, and there's. You know, there's nothing really, I mean, it's kind of dirty, but there's no metal chunks or anything in it, so. Definitely a good sign there. All right, just to be sure, we're going to play around with this magnet. Make sure none of this shit <laughs> sticks. What about any of this stuff in the filter? It's hard because you gotta, like, if you touch it, it tries to stick because of the oil. Too, but yeah. All right, so in conclusion, Ooh. fuck exhaust manifold bolts. So what we're going to do, we're pulling the Vanos all apart and we're actually going to just remove the head with the front exhaust manifold attached because it's clear we're not going to grab it and be able to pull it out from the engine bay. We can't reach it from underneath, none of our sockets fit on that bolt anymore because of how like shaven down it is. Uh, yeah, we're going to see if this little endeavor works, so we're actually just going to straight up remove the head and see if the that front exhaust manifold, obviously we're going to disconnect it from the exhaust down there, if it'll just come out with it. No, Looks we're like we're moving it will. the whole exhaust through the top. Of the <laughs> we're going to pull the whole exhaust through the top. So, subscribe for more. Ooh, you so dirty. Ooh. Ooh. What is this, dude? <laughs> Yo. I mean, seriously, BMW, what is this? P fucking Ooh. plastic? In the motor? <laughs> All right, Ooh. fucking $54 later, we finally got the torque sockets that we need and the extensions that we need to pull this head off. After working on a BMW, you're basically ready to open up your own shop. It's working, ladies and gentlemen, it's working. This is that long ass one, huh? Yeah. Wants a little magnet? Uh, he's supposed to... Oh. 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 <laughs> like, yeah. So long. That's what she said. Got it, boy. Let's go. Nice. I guess it really does the pay to have the right tools. Nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> We're about to find out. This is. That's it. Why is somebody covered their the spark plug in Ooh. duct tape? Let's see if there's a crack anywhere. I don't see a crack. Did it, was it not the right spark plug? Maybe. And they had to do that to get the coils to fit on it? Well, they're both... Well, the, that one doesn't have it, though. They're both NGK BKRs. All right, so here's a quick update for everybody. We we were going to just originally pull the exhaust manifold off of the exhaust side and remove it with the heads. So we were just like, well, if we can pull the entire manifold off with the head, then all we have to do, you know, it's easier to reach. We can, you know, mess with it more and we'll be able to get it off. A lot safer and without ruining the stud uh, you know the plan was gonna be great the plan was great until we started working on the exhaust first bolt snaps right off just clean off we're like okay well whatever we'll just we'll snap the other two and we'll just replace the bolts with new ones uh, well second bolt we try to get onto the socket slips and we strip the bolt and you know it's not insane but because of how old and rusty they are once it started getting a little bit messed up, that was it. It was just toast. So when we get it off, we'll work on the 
on the bolt that goes to the manifold from the head. So here's to that. All right. I don't know whether or not that's really what those were intended for, but as far as the placements for the floor jacks, but got it all jacked up. Definitely enough room to uh, get under there. And she's stiff, so I think we're safe to go ahead and climb on down there. Oh, cool. I was able to, was able to get one of them. Oops. It's incredibly rusty. I'm surprised it actually spun off. Yeah, I'm surprised it actually spun. It's really, really nasty. But <sighs> you're able to get it off. Oh. Now I'm gonna try the other one. See if I can just use a remover tool. Yo, got it, got it off. Uh, had to use the removaler tool on that one. That's the one that snapped clean off, so I'll bang that one out. And then that one actually came out on its own. So that was really good. So gotta just bang out those two right here so I can just run new bolts through them, but that'll come. That'll come next. So the head is ready to remove. Well, after I fully remove the head bolts. All right, so now I'm just pulling the head bolts. Um, I've already got all of them loosened, so not really a big deal there. Super freaking amazing tool to have while doing this part is this little magnet here. Dude, check this shit out. Just reach down in there, make sure you Actually grab the correct bolt. Which that one might not be loosened. Here's one. Look at that shit. Oh. Grab the bolt, and then there's also the washer down there. I've been having to break them loose with uh, you know a little mini screwdriver. I'll just stick it down in there, kind of jiggle the washer loose, and then stick this down there and grab it. But freaking easy. Got uh, seven more to go. Gotta be bumping.